Today's at home workout is my 20 minute full body workout. You are going to love this. So we are gonna do all standing moves. No equipment is needed. It is a full body. You're gonna feel it everywhere. I'm also gonna include your warm up workout as well as cool down. So if you're ready, I'm ready to start training you at home today. So part one is going to be the warm up. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna do some nice little moves that are gonna to help to mobilize your joints. So when you're ready, let's get started. So first move, just give me these toe taps in front. We're just doing eight of these. This is all about just slowly increasing your core body temperature. Now give me those heel digs and just give me a little elbow bend. Again, we're just doing eight of these. And now just take that leg behind. So it's a little knee bend, just squeeze behind with the arms. And now just take that to a knee drive. Keep that upper body nice and straight. And now we're just going to take the arm across. We're just doing sets of eight of each of these moves. And it's just about mobilizing all the joints through your body. And now let's just give me these big shoulder circles. Give me a little toe tap in front. And it's also just about increasing your core body temperature. And now take it double arms across and up reaching that up and over. That's good. And now just give me shoulder circles and a little toe tap, just going from one side to the other. And now we are ready to go into the workout. So part two, we are now gonna increase that intensity. So here is a preview of the first move. You're gonna travel forwards for four knees and then four power punches and you travel it back four knees and then four power punches. So if you get ready, come into position, let's start. So on the right is our timer bar and that is representing 50 seconds. So I want you just to keep doing this move until we reach the top on there. Let's just keep going and really put some power in those punches for me and then travel that back, keep that upper body nice and straight, power punches, that's good. And again, this one here now is a full body move. So we're working your upper body, working your middle body as well as your lower body. That's good. And just keep that really focused. Keep your hips facing forwards. Give me those power punches. And you can see that timer bar, we're nearly at the top. So we're just gonna keep going. Draw that knee up. And put that power behind those punches. Knee drive, knee drive knee drive all right well done so let's have a preview of your next move this one we're going to do a step back for two then we're going to do a kick for two and then alternate with that step back so again a total body move you've got the timer bar on the right so let's just keep going we're going to do this one for a duration of 50 seconds and just keep that nice and high step that foot back and really work your arms through their fullest range of motion. Keep your core muscles tight as you kick that leg up. So again, this move here is low impact, but what I still refer to as high intensity. So it just means you're gonna get the best results. So we're just gonna keep that going. I will warn you now, Princess Sultana came on and um, nearly knocked the camera over. So we go for a little wobble in a minute. All right, let's just keep going, doing really well. Nice control step that back so you can see that timer bar there we have nearly finished so let's just keep going to the end because then you're going to have 10 seconds recovery while you then preview the next move all right that's good kick that leg and step that back and behind so next move coming up we're going to do a mini little squat and then you do a step back so this one here again we're doing for a duration of 50 seconds so give me that little squat and step back so you're staying in a slight squat position, then you step that foot back. And really with this, make sure that you're keeping the knees behind the line of the toes. And step that foot back as far as you can, keeping that going. So this one here is really good to help build endurance through your lower body. It's a great um, cardio move as well. So keep going. The more often you do this, you'll find perhaps that you can go a little bit lower and you'll be able to increase your range of motion doing really well and keeping that going that's good and you can see that timer bar so let's just keep going till we reach the end on that one then we'll have a look at the next move step it back and always keep those knees behind the line of the toes so 
those. Right, so preview of your next move. This time now, fun one, we're just gonna do alternating toe taps with eight punches, and we're gonna change it where we're just gonna do these squeeze back with the arms. So let's get ready. Knees are slightly bent and just tap that foot from one side to the other and giving me those little punches for eight. And then we're just gonna squeeze the arms behind. Keeping that going, that's good. So I didn't want to put an actual countdown timer because what I want you to do is just focus on the exercise you're doing. You are making your body so strong. You are taking care of your physical health and mental health. So that's why we don't need to worry about time. You can just look at the bar, enjoy the exercise, enjoy the fact you are moving your body. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going, doing really well. And always make sure you're keeping those knees slightly bent. Just give me those punches and we've nearly reached the end of this move. So we've got no repeaters today, the exercise is gonna fly by. All right, so, all the workout. Let's now have a preview of your next move. So it's a really fun one. Just imagine you're hitting a tennis ball for four, then we're gonna do four power kicks, so then we're gonna hit the tennis ball from the other side, all right? So, so just have fun with this move and really feel that power coming through your core once you've done your four, then take hands up and give me those kicks for four. And then take that to the other side for four. That's good. So again here, this is a full body move. Then get ready to give me those four power kicks. Make sure you keep that upper body nice and straight. And that's it. And really put power behind each of those swings there. And then take that leg up and keep your core fully engaged, doing really well and just really push through those arms. I feel that's great for the waist as well, this one. And those power kicks, and again, in front. All right, so you can see that time bar, so we've nearly finished on this move. All right, let's have a look at your next move. This one now, we're gonna do a power step back. And then once we've done that, we're then gonna hold and take it to a T-bend, so. Feet slightly wide, then hit width distance apart. So just take that to that lunge for me. So you're lunging behind. In other words, taking a step back behind. Keep your fingertips in line with the shoulders. Now hold it here and just then, just extend one leg out and behind. Open up through the arms and do a set of four. Then we're taking it straight back. Step back for four. Keeping those arms in line with the shoulders. And then from those four, you're gonna open the arms out. You're gonna lift one leg behind, make sure the supporting knee is bent, your core is engaged. That's good. And then step that back. So again, another full body move. We're also working on your balance, your flexibility. And then lift, that's good. And lift those arms behind as you lift that leg behind as well. All right, so preview of your next move. This one here, we're gonna do as if you're doing a power march, and then we're gonna do a clap under the leg. So for this one, just, or imagine you're cross country skiing, big power move. All right, keeping that going, and then you're gonna do a leg lift and just try and clap under the leg. So you're doing sets of four of each of these, Nice power move. So again, this one is another total body move. And just make this move as dynamic as you can. The bigger the range of motion, then the better the benefits you're gonna get from all these exercises. Also keep your core engaged when you do that move where you're lifting the leg up. So now really pull in your core tight as you lift that leg. All right, doing really well. Nice control. Keeping that focused, you've got that timer bar, we've nearly finished on this move. All right, that's good, and let's now get ready to have a look at your next move. So for this one, we're gonna do a side step, and then we're gonna do power punches. So we'll go three side steps from one to the other, then we're gonna hold and then take it to power punches. So let's travel it across one, let's go two and three and four actually, and then we'll go four power punches. All right, so just keep alternating from one to the other and step it out as wide as you can. So now if you wanna make it harder and take it lower as well, the deeper you go and the wider you go, then if you want to make it harder, punch those arms up higher. Just keeping that going. 
that's good keep focus and keep remembering why you're doing this right now you are doing this to take control of your health so you're going to feel amazing for the rest of the day you're going to increase your energy levels um, we're working on your heart health we're increasing your metabolism we're ticking every single box power punches that's good keeping that going and hopping that from one side to the other all right, so next move coming up. This time we're gonna do a squat and then a controlled kick in front. Now, if you don't like doing squats, then just, you could do freestyle. Do a bit of jog jogging on the spot, do a bit of marching, do whatever you want. So remember, you can always modify the workout, make it suit you. But if you are doing the squat, what I want you to do is make sure you're keeping the knees behind the line of the toes. You squat down and then kick. So squat and kick. So this one here, again, obviously really good for your lower body. You're also really engaging your core, so you're activating your abdominal muscles as you kick that leg in front. And always try and keep your toes slightly lifted as you squat. That just means then we're keeping all the weight behind the knees. That's good. And just give me that kick, squat, and then kick. Doing really well. Keeping that going, that's good and kick once more all right and squat and kick so let's get ready now to have a look at your next move so from this one we're going to do a side step and we're just going to drive the knee up and then we're going to take it side step let's travel it over one we're going to go two three and you're going to hold it here and then you're going to do these knee drives then you're going to travel it across one two three hold it here take it knee drive knee drive knee drive then travel it over one go two and three then take it knee drive keep that nice and controlled that's good step that from one side to the other and drive that knee up so this workout today is also really going to improve your coordination and this helps what we refer to as your motor skills so this is also really good for our mental um, health and mental fitness as well so it's going to keep your mind really strong and engaged all right, that's good. And drive that knee up. Make sure that supporting knee slightly bent. Give me those three hops. Hold it there. Drive that knee. Really use the arms as well. And then hop it from one side to the other. And power that up. All right, well done. So next move coming up. This one's a really fun one. We're just going to walk forwards and then do double knees. All right. So let's just keep that going seconds and after this one we're going to have a quick little 15 second water break so drive the knee up so let's just keep going drive that knee up put some really good power in it that's good keeping that going so I'm here as your qualified online trainer I've been teaching for over 30 years and my mission is to get you as fit and strong as I possibly can this is about you being your best it's not about competing with anyone else. This is just about you on your health journey. We know that exercise is one of the best medicines of all. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. So when we reach that timer bar, we're going to have 15 second little water break. And then we've just got a couple more moves and we go into your cool down. So let's just keep focus today. This is a 20 minute routine, which includes your warm up, workout and cool down. Drive that knee up. Okay, doing really well. Let's just keep that focus last little bit. Okay, so now we're just going to take a quick little water break. Okay, so here's a preview of the next move. This one we're going to be in a plie squat and we're just going to squat down then we're going to step the foot behind. So start by taking the feet really nice and wide. Toes should be out to a 45 degree angle. Have your arms in front and now we're just going to bend through the knees and just go as low as you can. Now take your arms up, step the foot behind and just alternate from one side to the other. Then step it wide, arms back in front and give me those plie squats. That's good, keeping that going. Then arms up, step that foot behind. So again, here is a full body move and we've got some really nice new moves in this workout as well. So let's just keep that going and travel that foot behind. That's good, keep your core engaged, doing really well good and then take the arms up so this one is great to really strengthen through your abdominals to work your obliques it's really good for your inner thighs for your glutes your outer thighs plus we're also then working endurance through the arms by keeping them up 
and also when we're keeping them at shoulder height. Right, let's have a little preview now at your next move. So this one, we're just gonna do a power punch and then a knee drive. So this one is a really good standing core workout as well. So let's get ready, just drive that knee up for four and then we're just gonna go for these power kicks and then drive that knee up and then just give me those power kicks. So just keep alternating. So today's workout is a really safe workout that you could come back and do every single day. The reason being is we're using body weight so all these moves are really safe and we're also using what I call multi-directional and multi-compound moves. So it means you are getting maximum benefits from all the exercises. All right, just keeping that going. Remember, it's really important. Always keep your core engaged good and doing really well so we've got one more cardio move after this and then we're going to do a really lovely cool down to realign your body to improve your posture and that's good let's just now have a little preview of the next move so this is a really fun one we're going to do heel up punches and then we're going to do reach over arms so heel up punches so just get ready so if you can kind of move around your room doing these and then you're going to take it arm up and over so you're taking the heels up i think we're doing it for a count of eight but just follow along then reach the arms up and over for four and then heels up so if you can do it so you're turning 180 degrees reach those arms up and over and keep putting power through those punches. You are getting fitter, you are getting stronger, you are investing in your future health. You are doing so well. This is the last part of your workout, then we're going straight into your cool down. So let's just keep moving, doing really well. Reach it up, keeping that focus. Really put power behind those punches, draw those arms up and over, and again, power in those punches and reach it up and over. All right, so well done. What we're gonna do now is we're now gonna do your cool down. So keep moving with me. It's really important you don't just stop straight away. And the benefit of this cool down is gonna really help improve your posture. So just follow along with these moves here. So we're just gonna tap that foot in front, just swing out with the arms. Now hold that foot there and just bend your leg and just have your hands on your bent leg, the opposite leg, just have the toes lifted and feel that through the back of the upper thigh. So what I'm doing now, I'm stretching through your hamstring. You're gonna increase that flexibility. Now take that to the opposite foot, just tap, alternate. So we're doing a little bit of movement between each stretch and now hold that here. Now let's stretch the opposite leg, hands are on the bent leg, extend that leg. So we're really making that muscle nice and long. Toes are slightly lifted. And if you want to, you can always press pause if you want to hold these stretches for longer, keep that toe lifted. All right, so now just push your arms in front, tap the foot behind, and now hold that down, take that heel all the way down to the ground, hands on that just bent leg in front, just lean forward, feel that stretch through the calf muscle. So this is really gonna strengthen and lengthen through the calf. Often the calves can get quite tight, so this is gonna help prevent that. Just alternate, tapping that foot behind, and then we're gonna hold, take it to the other leg. So by doing this stretch here, we're actually stretching the muscle. It's actually called is your gastronemia. So we're gonna really lengthen that now. Holding that there and lean into that. So now your next stretch, if you need to use something for balance, we're just gonna do that quadricep stretch. You should feel that through the front of your upper thigh. Make sure your supporting leg for me is slightly bent. Um, this is really important. Also keep that muscle nice and stretch because that's gonna help prevent injuries and try and keep your hips pressing forwards. Make sure that supporting knee is slightly bent. Now, upper body stretch. Just imagine you are hugging a big beach ball. Get that lovely stretch through the top of the upper back. And now take those arms behind. Feel that stretch there through your chest. And now let's take one arm up and over. Just getting a little tricep stretch. And let's take that to the opposite arm. Again, feel that nice stretch. 
So well done, you did it. So there's a thumbs up from me to you and there is a high five. Now what I have got, which is really exciting, I've got a brand new free challenge. This is my walk and tone full body. It's completely free. You can grab your free copy of the ebook here and you can start today. And as your qualified trainer, I'm all about getting you the best results as possible at home. So I'll see you on my YouTube channel tomorrow for another workout. And just remember, you just invested in your future health.